the choroid. While we talk about the choroid, we are going to introduce ourselves to the terms the lens, pupil, iris. You have heard about all these ciliary body. This you may not have heard about. Now, starting with the choroid, the middle layer. The middle layer which contains blood vessels. Now, this layer contains the blood vessels. Fine. So, it uh, looks bluish in color. It contains blood vessels. It looks bluish in color. If I concentrate on the posterior part, you know, it is thinner. Thinner over the posterior part, about two-thirds of it is quite thinner. Right? If I talk about the anterior part, it's thicker and it forms the ciliary body. So, the thicker part of this choroid, it forms the ciliary body and this is very important. Ciliary body is very important. Take a look where I have labeled the ciliary body. You see, it's the thicker anterior portion. Thicker anterior portion. Noted? Now, let's talk about the iris. So, what is this iris I'm interested about? It's pigmented structure. Pigmented opaque structure formed by the ciliary body. You know the ciliary body, it continues forward. The ciliary body, it continues forward to form a pigmented opaque structure, which is the iris. Fine. This is actually the visible colored portion of the eye. The visible color, the color that you see of the eye is basically you're seeing the color of the iris. All of you? Fine. Now, now we are going to talk about the next part, which is really important for your eyes, and that's the lens. Transparent crystalline structure in the eyeball. Transparent crystalline structure in the eyeball. In physics, if you have talked about, if you have studied about the chapter optics, then you can relate to it. Lens. You will be studying about lens in physics. They are held by the ligaments attached to ciliary body but here other than the physics if i talk about the human lens the transparent crystalline structure in the eyeball fine again the function is quite similar to the lens that you will be studying in physics these lens they are held by the ligaments of the ciliary body and these ligaments actually they are attached to the ciliary body it helps in regulation of the lens fine okay so i is done Lens done. What about the pupil? Pupil. It is the aperture which surrounds the iris. The aperture which surrounds the iris is the pupil. The diameter of this pupil can be regulated. Try this out. Take a dark room. Take a torch light. Stand in front of the mirror and quickly flash the light. You'll see this pupil, it moves. If you flash the light, it will become smaller. You know why? The function is basically to regulate the intensity or rather the amount of light which is which must be allowed inside the eye so that a proper vision is possible. Fine. When the light intensity is low, you'll see. If you just move the light a bit away from the eyes, you'll see it becomes bigger. Fine. You'll see it. Try it out. It's very nice to observe this. Well, the diameter regulated by how is the diameter regulated? By the muscle fibers of the iris. So the pupil, its diameter will be regulated by the muscle fibers of the iris.